G'day viewers, Ivan here from Peak Off Road Equipment, Wetherill Park, Sydney, Australia. And yes, we are in the workshop. Uh, this is very close to Christmas. I thought this one would be of interest for these guys who are like me, who've had a few Land Rovers in their time. And we haven't really had a Bush Company uh, AX27 with a 270 degree awning mounted on one of these for a while because they're since they stopped producing them back in uh, 2016. Um, yeah, it's uh, far and few between. We have pulled a few of these roofs off, but uh, recently, which is pre pretty good. So, and uh, done the uh, alley cab conversion on those. So we offer both those things. But here we've got 2016, 110 Land Rover. It hasn't got too many Ks on it. And we're not gonna go through open and close, but I wanted to show you how we've put this on, on here and the little tricks and things. So let's go have a look. Well, say so everyone, say hello to David. David? Yes, it's a rainy day here in the workshop and uh, we had time before Christmas. We're gonna have a couple of beers later on. But okay, just for the first bit here is the awning has been mounted in the down position and we'll get really quickly to the other side. Plenty of height for me, I'm 6'3". So we've got good height. The car is really not lifted at all, which is quite interesting, but the tent has been set down very low. So if we go back to this corner, uh, I'll just undo this, David. Just hang on for a second. All right, David, come over this side. Come from here. Right, as you can see, the tent has been mounted a little bit further back uh, because the tire is in the way right here. And the awning, if you pull this up, is in the down position. So we do not need to have that spring relocation pole. Um, this kind of worked out the best in this scenario because normally they have uh, very high uh, load bars. Now these load bars are from, oh, just the name escapes me, but it'll come to me a little bit later on uh, when I remember. But I'm just gonna run through here and I'm just going to put this on. Hannibal is the load bars. Now the load bars, uh, the load bar feet themselves were fantastic. They're really, really nice. The issue I have is the way they're actually uh, pushed onto him. There's actually no little round lip from making these pop off in um, some circumstances. Now, I have some little thingies here. So in this case here, we we're able to mount these on these 28 mil Unistrut bars. With these attached to the tent, just like that. And on the end of these is a, a set of um, end caps. So that's what you see up there, right? So this can be mounted onto um, Rhino bars or whatever. But as far as the distance between the bottom of the roof and the uh, the top of the roof and the bottom of the tent or these load bars it's like 25 mil or 20 mil finger and a half so it's very close um, this used to have four bars on it uh, we've cut that off here as you can see we've knocked that off um, because the front bar was just ridiculously high and i couldn't get it where i wanted it so this part is pretty pretty straightforward now to run the I'm going to get rid of my little toolies here um, this doesn't come standard with um, Bush Company awnings, it's something that we put on. And these just run through with a washer. Right, I just hide that again, just run that in. And you tighten it up, washer obviously first. And you tighten it up where you want. Now, I'm gonna go get the ladder. So if you can see here now, um, how it's set up, it's all working well. Just give me one second, I'll get the ladder and set it up. Right, ladder. We whack that inside here. And you can see straight away, we have an issue. Uh, there's just not enough room. Right up here, if I was gonna go up, 15, 15 degrees is about there. Right, let's go up, I've gotta go through this. So what we do, um, here is, and this is just a hack for um, 
for the awnings. Now in this case the clip has to come off for, for the moment. It's not that much of a pain in the ass to pull the clip off. But we've put another one of these eyelets here. See that Dave? And what we're going to do without this on, we're going to run that in. Run that in. Under. Under. Put this back on. Sorry. Let me just try to do everything left handed. Put this on. Ah, get on there. And now we're just going to do this up. So what it's doing is just pulling the... So that's pretty simple. Right now that's not in your way for the ladder. Now there is another video which will attach up the top, which is how to gain rear access here via just moving, picking up the second arm uh, point and getting that thing. It'll be up this side on the left. Is that right, Dave? Yeah. It doesn't matter, he says. Anyway, so you can see that little hack there. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to close this all up. So we're going to, what do you call it? Spare you the closing of it. I think you've seen a few of these. I'm going to have a look at what it looks like closed up. See you in a minute. Well, as you can see, here's a 110 Land Rover with the Bush Company tent and awning. The AX27, same as the DX, and the 270 uh, XT left hand Mark II awning on it. As you see, I spared you a little bit of time. You can watch the outtakes of me pulling this down and huffing and puffing. Um, me personally, I would put a nice low bar here and go like uh, the old camel trophies. Five or six lights across the top and it'll look pretty retro and cool. I love these cars and I've learned to hate them as well. Uh, Mark, if you're watching this one, you understand how much we love and hate uh, 110 Land Rovers. I've owned two and I own a uh, Parenti at the moment. So, yeah. Anyway, lovely car. It's good to see the old BCs uh, becoming a bit of a collector's model. I love them and that's why we did this video and I hope you enjoyed it as well. See you out there, guys, on the tracks. Hooroo. Oh, I'm really done now. Let's go home. So we put this on here, there's the OCD and Ivan coming through and we just make sure these are level. Over, find the straps, there he is somewhere, there's one, there's the other, one, two, oh look how dodgy I did it, <laughs> that is so dodgy. Gotta get this one out. I'm just not tall enough for it. Did you hear that? I heard a child scream. Same. Same. Tuxedo. Bring it down. Bring it down. Grab another bite. Grab another bite. Look how good that is. Just make sure the air goes out. Take your time here. Back everything down. 